So happy Valentine's Day, yay! morning internet friends or rather good afternoon internet friends how are we doing today how are we riddler i gotta snip your shoe how are we amarelle i gotta get sassy's attention i gotta get her attention because i love her so much well how are we doing sassy i want this dog to leave me alone you want to say hi to your internet friends what do you want to tell them okay happy valentine's day guys so happy Valentine's Day, yay! If you have a significant udder, it means that you're spending time with your significant udder. And yes, I am saying udder. <laughs> if you don't have a significant udder, then you can spend time to yourself or, you know, with family, with friends, or of course, the best Valentine's ever with your dog. And in this case, my brother and I will be going out to dinner tonight. I'm gonna to try to get there before the crowds do. So we've planned out restaurants, we've planned out time. Going with the rest, we're gonna to try to go to Panda Express. If not, Taco Bell is also an option, or Chick-fil-A. Basically, don't go to big restaurants. That's something for you guys. There's a little fun, fun fact, fun tip, so it's fun tact. But anyways, if you're wanting to go out to eat for dinner, on Valentine's Day like with friends or whatever number one do not go to big restaurants and what I mean by big the examples are like Red Lobster Applebee's Olive Garden no don't go there because there will be a lot of crowds a lot of waiting and if you have anxiety it's going to be shooting through the freaking roof and if you have a service dog it'll probably be a lot harder so stick with something that's more medium, maybe small size. I mean, even fast food. People aren't going to be there. Or best thing, order in. Woohoo. Or if you want to go to a big restaurant, do like one of those pickup order things where you can just order food and then go and pick it up so you don't actually have to be inside in the crowds. Another thing is if you don't want to order in and you still want to go to that huge restaurant or even if you're wanting to go to any kind of restaurant, Go a little bit earlier. Um, the average dinner time is probably around 6, 6.30, um, maybe 5.30. So either try to go around 4.30 or go around like 7 or 8. Like some time away from the optimal dinner time. Because that will be less crowds. And less crowds is always a good thing. Um, but yeah, I've had class. Came home and watched a bunch of Ozzy and Drix. That's really been my day. Anxiety has been really up and down today. Um, I had anxiety in class, of course, because I was worried about a problem that we were doing, which I wasn't the only one. The entire class was, too. We were all confused. And then, I don't know, anxiety's just been up and down with my brain, like, shooting random things, like, oh, you need to work on training MRL, or you need to do this, you need to do that. And then, of course, I'm also having symptoms that are common with anxiety that not everyone thinks of, like irritability. I'm much more irritable about things today, which is an anxiety symptom that people don't really know. Because um, if you knew me, I'm not an irritable person. Can I get annoyed with things? Yes, but I'm not one you would see as angry right away. Um, but I've been kind of eh, kind of losing patience, kind of not wanting to do anything. I'm also super tired, but I also worked really hard yesterday interning and managing to hurt myself on a door and all sorts of stuff. So I'm super tired and I really don't want to drive out tonight, but I do love Panda Express, so uh, it'll probably be worth it. Um, I need to update little bits training log. That's something to think about. Um... My brother and I went into a store for a little bit while waiting for his hair appointment and anxiety was going up and down and it wasn't because there was crowds it was this is a horrible store it's called Robinson Salvage and it has everything you can imagine from like shoes to 
food items to arts and crafts to tires everything but it's all disorganized aisles are not labeled there are things literally just thrown on shelves and it bothered me to no extent i'm like no things need labels but on the upside i did get some um rhinestones that i can now use to finish my sparkle bra for yuri so yay but yeah now we're back at home chilling for a little bit before my brother and i go out um i'm probably going to work on yesterday's vlog and also maybe finish up a couple episodes of Ozzy and Drake's and I'll check back in with you guys later. Hey guys. Mm. Dad be my rotten boys. And my sweet little yeah. angel. <laughs> Excuse you. You had all this time before I turned the camera on to get all this out. And this is what you're doing. Will you not roll over your brother? You're heavy. Quit trying to crush your brother's face. So... Tyler and I went out to eat. We went to Panda. And then we went to Walmart because he wanted to get a few things. So that was a fun time. Um, before we left, I was having a lot of anxiety about getting out of the house because I really didn't want to deal with people. And I was tempted to just tell my brother, hey, you want to just order in and stay home because I really am not feeling good and not wanting to deal with humanity. But, and then I ended up taking a nap. And then my brain, of course, would not shut up about, oh my gosh, we're not leaving at the time that was suggested, blah, blah, blah. And then my brother came at about 5.30 was like, hey, are we still going? So I finally was like, okay. My brother's been really wanting to go, so I need to get up and just go. So we went. Panda was a little crowded, but not too terrible. I don't know why, like, I hate crowds so much. I think because, like, I feel like I can't escape. Um... And then we went to Walmart. Walmart was Walmart, of course. Um, but it was alright. But the whole time I was wishing I could have had MRO with me. Of course, I can't. He's not a service dog yet. He's a service dog in training. And they do not have the same access rights as service dogs do. This I know, I looked up Georgia law. Only service dogs have public access rights. So, he's still training. And even if I took him with me, it would have been kind of pointless because I would have needed him to do tasks and he doesn't know them yet, so. We work on it, don't we, boy? Okay, for now, I just gotta be a puppy and know my basics and know not to chew on mommy's quilt because I've been wanting to do that recently. Little jerk face. I really wanted to make them like homemade dog treats. I saw this really cute recipe on Pinterest where it's like doggy conversation hearts and they're so cute but then I was like you know I don't really want it plus I don't think I have wheat flour so I ended up for a valentine's treat for each one of them I put a spoonful of peanut butter in their food and of course they were happy with that they just wanted some kind of treat huh I know I need to put um, peanut butter in that Kong too but yeah now I'm just watching YouTube, catching up on my um, watch later list. It's got like 16 videos and that's really bothering me that there's so many. And I'm like, ah, I need to watch these. But I've not had the time to sit down. And th even then, I was watching Ozzy and Drix. So, dang it. But I'm not watching it right now because I'm like, I'm going to watch these videos. So, let's get to it. Hey, guys. There's Emerald. There's Riddler. Oh, y'all. And they have taken over my bed. Oh, just take up as much space as you possibly can, rotten dog. See, Sassy knows her spot. You guys know your spots too, but I kind of need those pillows, bud. <sighs> You're a jerk, but I love you. Alright, so the evening has been, I got home. I did a really quick cause test of Yuri Katsuki. Um, I need to trim the wig, badly. <laughs> and then, of course, took some selfies, posted them on Instagram, because what else do you do? Watched some YouTube videos, um, played around with the puppy, and that's really about how my night has been. Um, oh, and showered. Showering is always good for you. Um, but, yeah. I hope you guys had a wonderful Valentine's Day. Um... So, for question of the day, 
I know I'm skipping the whole signing off for the night thing because, you know what, I'm going to be going to bed. So, hope your day was great. But question of the day is, how was your Valentine's Day? Did you do anything fun? Or, you know, what did you do, whether it was fun or not? You guys basically know what I did based on this vlog. Watch Ozzy and Drix. Go eat with my brother. And that's about it. So leave your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, Fluff Butt. Good night, Just Butt. And good night, Sassy Girl.